Hi, Hiram here. It seems I have some very sharp people watching my videos. I just can't get away with anything. One caught me using a verb, accidentally using a verb that I made up uh, with talking with my wife, scrummaging. I explained that to him in an answer to his comment. Uh, Pace 2320 suggested using a side burner Pepsi can stove instead of this one. My point with using something small like this, uh, all I wanted to do was heat up a cup, maybe a little more of water. So I didn't need anything big, plus it would just fit in there and still give me room to uh, use other things like Espit or whatever. And that helps having the wire. If I use the can that you can put a, you know, the pot right on a side burner, this is my canteen cup burner that I was trying. The flames come out and up the sides and most of the bottom is covered up with the bottom of the cup. So I didn't want something that big. I mean you could use anything. You could use a Pepsi can but again it's almost the same size as this small cup. Uh, I could use the, the uh, carbon fiber burner and something like that, that would work. I just wanted to try this. But then I had um, several people write to me and say that they noticed that I said quicker times using this tea, kite, tea Candle 10 with the vertical web. I used this once before and they said that they noticed that I had a quicker time with this. So why don't I try this in the burner. So that's what I'm going to do here today. Um, let's see. One other thing I forgot to mention the first time. This is a single walled cup. There's lots of cups out there that are double walled to act like a thermos so that if you put something hot in it you don't burn your fingers and it keeps the heat. You don't want to use something like that on a flame. You want a single single wall. It's just one sheet of tin there. And it doesn't even have to be tin. I mean there's all kinds of you could probably use an enamel cup on something like that. I don't see why not. Things you can pick up at Goodwill all the time are cups and bowls for real cheap. Something like this would work but you might have to come up with some kind of a different lid. But all you need is that it's got to be just one wall not a double wall. Be careful with that. Alright so we'll try this vertical wick stove. Going to go again with the one tablespoon of denatured alcohol. See if I can get it all into the burner without slopping it everywhere. Now I don't know uh, how fast or long this will burn. We'll have to try this here. But there's a lot more space there if you wanted to put more alcohol in. I'm just putting the same amount of alcohol I had in the first test. I have one cup of water setting at 60 degrees. Let's light this. Oh, there you can see it. Put the cup on. And let's see where this goes. There we have 210, 211, 212. We have a rolling boil at look like four minutes and let's say 15 seconds. Let's see how long this will burn. Okay let's say five minutes and ten seconds for run out. Five minutes ten seconds. Well obviously this is a better burner 
than the one with the fiberglass gasket stuff stuffed in it. Basically this is just a well, it's still burning. That's why I wear gloves. Basically it's just a tea light tin. You took the wax out. A piece of the muffler exhaust wrap. This is just fiberglass that's been braided into a strap like thing. Just a piece of that curled up inside there so that it's pushing against the outer wall or the inner wall of the tin. And that's all it is. I mean I don't think you get a get a simpler burner. And I'm rather surprised that that did much better than the other one. So, in this test, one cup of water starting at 60 degrees, room temperature 60 degrees, 54% humidity, brought one cup of water to boil in 4 minutes and 15 seconds, and then ran out in 5 minutes and 10 seconds, using one tablespoon, just one tablespoon of denatured alcohol. So I think this might just be a pretty good little kit to use in my, in my either my survival pack or my day pack. Whatever I'm not planning on, you know, you just in the cold, especially you want to warm up a, a cup of coffee or chocolate or something. So I look forward to your input on this, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, as I've gotten from many people. Uh, lots of them, too many of them to, to mention there, but. I thank you all, and I'm sorry about the scrummaging, but I look forward to your input. So, as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. Good boy, Max.